Okay, first of all, can everyone hear me? Yes, I can, Chuck. I can hear you, Chuck. All right, great. Let's get started. Now, we're all here with one common interest. With the uncertainty of our health care insurance system, we researched and found the best alternative to Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act, which we'll be going over today. So without further ado, let's get right to the introductions. Dave? Very good. David DePaul. I've been in the industry since about 1989, started the principal financial group, pension planning, uh, financial instruments, but geez, about the last seven, eight years, the need is uh, for consumers in the healthcare industry. So that's where I specialize now. All right, Mike, you're on deck, so you're up now. Mike Bashirs with National Health Benefit Advisors. Uh, I've been in the industry, financial service industry, for the last uh, 30 years, everywhere from Smith Barney, in the last nine, 10 years, strictly with healthcare benefits. All right, now we have the formalities out of the way. Let's say we start. Very good. All right, Dave, first of all, uh, I know our consumers out there want to know what's available to them. What are their options? Why don't you tell us what they are? Well, they are limited now, and one has to do with the Affordable Health Care Act. Uh, some people may know that as Obamacare, which is really a great product if you have serious illness now or expect that to continue in the future, or maybe... Um, your means are a little less and you're going to receive a high subsidy to help pay for your health care. So in that event, it's excellent. Um, another option would be short term. Some people call it temporary. That's good for people. Oh, maybe their um, COBRA has ended and they need to do something until they go to another employer or until that open enrollment opens for Obamacare. That's another one. So it's, it's good for that. They all have their downsides. Um, we could get into that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, another option I think is probably the best one. It's an indemnity plan. It's what insurance used to be. It's a scheduled benefit. You know what's going to be paid. And the premiums aren't going to rise the way that they are for consumers now with Obamacare. All right. So we're kind of like going old school. Yes, that. we are. Yeah. It's the way it should be. Right. Right. Mike, anything to add? Well, with our program, we're advisors. Okay? You're always right. going to be with us. With the other options that you have, you may talk to one person when he signs you up, and then you'll never talk to him again. So he has no, he's no, he has no responsibility to you. With us, it's always going to be us. There are concierge that you can talk to uh, for follow up, but uh, you know what? You can always get a hold of us to make sure that we are on the same page. And I'll tell you that gives us the consumer a, a peace of mind knowing that they're dealing with somebody, the same person each time they call. Absolutely right. All right, Dave, let's first of all start with everything has, there are pros and cons. Yes, sir. Everything. Let's talk about uh, the pros and cons of the Affordable Care Act. Okay, well, I had mentioned the pros previously for those that are quite ill or will be ill in the future from a continuing medical condition or those that are of limited means um, that will receive a, a high subsidy to pay their premium, that's a pro. But on the downside, uh, I think most people are familiar, they're all labeled with a metal, uh, gold, silver, bronze. In the past, just a couple of years ago, people did old, own a silver and a gold, but premiums rising oh, in many states over 250%, the average consumer, they're only buying a bronze. And the deductible, they're quite high. So if we have deductibles in excess of $7,000 and the average medical uh, expense in a given year for a consumer is under five, uh, they're never going to use that plan. They're going to pay a premium, but they're never going to reach that deductible in most cases. Um, so between a rising premium, between a deductible that you're not going to reach, most, most people think that when it comes to going into collections or bankruptcy, it's from people that don't have insurance. That's not true. What it is is those people that can't afford the deductible and the co-insurance. Right. That's, that's terrible. And it puts people in financial straits, I mean, dire straits. Yes, sir. All right, Dave, we've all heard the phrase term insurance. Yes, sir. Why don't you tell us a little bit about term insurance? Okay, I think most people are probably familiar with term insurance being associated with life insurance. And it goes in years of 10 years, 15, 20 years, and then it's renewable at the end of that time. However, this is short-term medical. Short? How short? <laughs> well, it could be 30 days, could be 60 days, could be 90 days. So it's, it's helpful to get you from one employer plan to another employer plan until they pick you up. So that, that's great. But 
on the downside, if something does happen to you and people are buying this to use permanently, that when you file a claim, it is up to that carrier whether they are going to renew you. So just imagine if you had a heart attack and your period is up and it comes up for renewal and they say, we're not going to sign you back up again, Chuck. What are you going to do? No one's going to take you. This will happen? This, this could this, possibly this happen? Absolutely. But consumers aren't aware of that. They think they have something that's there for a long haul. And, and Chuck, let me add something here. Most of the time when the consumer is picking it up uh, through a um, for their insurance, they have no idea that this is a short term. They are only buying on the price. And uh, it may be a three or four month time frame, uh, but if something does happen, they will pay for that event. But at the end of the expiration, uh, that's when they find out that it, it's not going to be renewed and there's no place else to go. So it's that's what puts them in trouble. They have no idea up until then. If you're a consumer and you've been communicating with an agent who is pushing a product that is driven by commission and all you see is the allure of a low premium, this is not going to benefit you in the future when something does happen. They're not going to take the call. That's why you need an advisor who's going to work with you, check in from time to time. You call them when you have a need so that you do know you have the proper plan and not a short-term plan. And Dave, it, it's all driven by their commission, correct? It's driven by commission. Uh, insurance companies are smart. This is better than Vegas. They're selling these plans knowing that only a fraction of them are they ever going to pay a claim on because they're most likely not going to renew it. They'll pay that past claim, but not going to renew it. So the next thing they know, they've got the lower monthly payment, they, and, but they have no idea that it's only good for three or four months. They think that it's like regular insurance, and they're not told that. And then when they find that out, that's when, that's when they get upset and they cancel. So when the person that they're speaking with is not truly forthcoming about this whole thing, that's where things go sideways. Yes. Yes. When, when the consumer finds it out later, that's when he's upset. So basically, Dave, what's going on here is the, you're talking to an agent, but the agent doesn't have the consumer's best interest at heart here. The agent would be pushing a product that the carrier wants them to push at that time. That would be a product that would be the most profitable. Now, everybody knows that, but they're chasing the dollar. It's not great for the consumer. They need an advisor, someone they can call with questions and put them in the proper plan as their needs change. All right, which brings us to this point. Mike, why don't you tell us why National Health Benefit Advisors is different? Okay. Our program is different because ours is a hospital indemnity plan. Okay. Ours is going to be very strong on the hospital side as well as the accident and outpatient. So with us, you have first dollar, college, uh, first dollar coverage paid directly for you. You have no deductibles and you have no coinsurance, unlike Obamacare or the short-term medical. Okay? With the, our programs, you're always going to have freedom of choice. You can always go to any doctor that you want to nationwide. And we have, you can go to any hospital you want because we have one of the largest PPO, national PPOs in the country, over 5,000 different hospitals. All right, so are we talking no deductibles here? No deductible. Wow. What about no coinsurance? None. No coinsurance at all. It's a very strong program for those, particularly for those consumers who realize, look, I know I'm responsible for my medical uh, care. I am. Right. I just want to make sure that if something really bad happens, particularly the hospital and accidents, that someone's there to help me. All right, and what about that that uh, situation? Do they have a choice in where they can go? Yeah, you can stay with your doctor that you currently have. That's not a problem. You can go to almost any hospital that's in the country, but you you want to use, for the biggest discounts, you want to use our PPO, which is one of the largest in the country. All right, so Dave, heaven forbid I contract a serious illness such as cancer. What are my options at that point? Well, your option would hopefully be for you or a loved one that you'd want to go to the best facility available. Uh, 
not one that you were restricted to because you were an HMO. And that's what will happen with an HMO network. Now it's better than having none, but the best is to be part of a PPO network. Now private healthcare systems, we call it PHCS, multi-plan, is the most robust in the country. So if you want to go in here in Florida to Moffitt Center, if you want to go to the Mayo Clinics, if you want to go out in Houston to Anderson, right. the best facility in the U.S., you can go. So Dave, basically, our consumers are getting a peace of mind knowing that they have freedom of choice and where they can go. Freedom of choice is powerful. Uh, that will help to heal. Now, Mike, let me ask you this. Will this plan pay enough to cover a hospital stay if I do have to go? Yes, Chuck. It's, it's a very cash-rich uh, program. Uh, it's, it's a supplement program on steroids, okay? But if, on the Cadillac plan, the, the best plan we have, it's going to pay out anywhere from $6,000 to $9,000 a day, depending on whether or not you're in intensive care, okay? And there's a limit of uh, up to $2 million that they'll pay out. So, you know, an average stay in a hospital, a three-day average stay is going to run you about $20,000. So after all the benefits are put in, it's more than enough. Okay. Now, what if I have a, a critical illness? Some people say you don't need a critical illness benefit. What do you guys think? You know, I might have said that uh, 25, 30 years ago, but now with, with the way medicine is, the survival rates is very high. Uh, it is, you know, it's, it's that recovery, the rehab that you need money for. So I strongly advise people to have critical illness now more than ever because you have to go, you have to be able to pay the bills. You know, the, the insurance will pay the hospital bills, but you have to have money to pay for the other things. I have to jump in on that. On a personal note, I have a brother who recently had a stroke, um, and I have one who passed from that uh, four years ago. Mike's aware of that. They're both self-employed. Uh, there are dollars that are needed aside for just the medical expenses. This will adequately take care of that. However, when you're self-employed, you need to still keep your family operating, and that's how this also helps. So, Dave. What exactly do you mean by taking care of these other costs? Well, Chuck, one of two things are going to happen. If you have a stroke, if you have diagnosed with cancer, you're either going to die or now with modern technology, you're going to live. And that is where it is quite costly. So if you pass, this is going to pay. But with therapies that take place, with the um, IVs now that are given, uh, the likelihood of, of um, surviving that illness is great. So your family's gonna need money, you're gonna need money aside from what your hospital plan, your Obamacare, your short term, whatever pay, there's gonna be many ancillary dollars that are gonna be needed in your house for your loved ones. And no one ever thinks about that. All I think about is right. what's going on at that moment. And now we go back to not having enough funds, going into collections, and that's the path you go down. All right, Mike, so is this just regarding hospital stays? No, there's a lot of benefits for outside of hospital. It's, it's, uh, it is strong for hospitals. It is strong for accidents. It's strong for outpatient, okay? Uh, but you have the freedom to go to your doctor. This is a great way to get great value at a much lower price than what they would have with either the affordable care options through Blue Cross and Blue Shield or Florida Blue or any of those other plans, and definitely more than what they would get through the short-term medical. I know we have a lot more to cover in this, on this subject, and we will get to it, but if so far, if what Dave and Mike have talked about is to your liking, it's very simple to get a hold of National Health Benefit Advisors. Just click on the link on your screen, a form will come up, which you'll fill out, and then one of the team members at National Health Benefit Advisors will contact you and set you up with what you need. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk for a couple minutes, share with us what you feel your needs are, and we will customize a plan for you. So this isn't just like, uh, you know, you're going to just sell something we don't need. Well, if you look at the Affordable Care Act, you're going to see an individual plan. That is the one you'll purchase. Probably you're going to pay for benefits that you're never going to use. And those are just wasted dollars. So let's keep more dollars in the household and customize a plan personally for you, Chuck. It's definitely not a cookie cutter. Plan. No, sir, it is not. All right, Mike, well, we talked about hospitals and hospital stays and urgent care and doctors. 
Let's get a little deeper into what the benefits are, the advantages of the National Health Benefit Advisors Program. Okay, all right, Chuck. There's a lot of benefits, benefits that you're typically going to use a lot more than hopefully in hospital usage. With our program, uh, you have telemedicine. A lot of people know as teledoc. Uh, that is where you can you call into a number, and within generally a half an hour, a doctor will call you back, uh, and he will prescribe medication for whatever your need is, as long as it's not something that's involved in a narcotic. And you can generally pick that up at your pharmacy in less than 30 minutes. You can do that in your pajamas. That way you don't have to go to a doctor uh, for a doctor visit. And that you can do that unlimited. It costs you $25 each time, but it's unlimited usage. Okay. The dental program is the largest dental program in the country, uh, so it's it's quite strong. But the the part that I think is one of the strongest uh, features of the plan is we have a hospital advocacy program. It's a company that's out of uh, San Antonio, and what they do, they specialize, is they negotiate bills. Any hospital bill that you have that's over $2,500, they'll negotiate. Now their track record is in that 70 to 80% discount. And not only do they get you that discount, but they can get you a time frame that you can pay it off in 24 to 60 months. So when you add that with what we already have, you have a lot of benefit and coverage that you're not gonna pay out a whole lot on, on hospital bills. You know, I once thought, why should I care if a hospital bill is negotiated? But I guess you just answered that one. Yes, it's, it's a big savings to the household. It changes everything, okay? And, and one of the strongest uh, features, I think, of our program. You know, an average consumer hospital stay, three-day stay, is gonna run you $20,000, okay? Our plan, what they would do is they would use a discount from the multi-plan to discount it. Typically, their discount's gonna be 30%. So 30% of the 20,000 is $6,000. So that 6,000 from 20,000 brings it down to 14,000. Then the hospital advocacy reduction comes in place. Okay, typically, you know, let's just say it's 75%. And if they're able to get that 75% reduction, that's going to reduce it down another 10,500. So taking that from the 14,000, that will leave you an obligation of $3,500. So for that three day stay, the average bill being $20,000, our gold plan will pay out a little over $18,000. Well, our silver will pay out fourteen thousand and change, and the bronze plays out a little over seven thousand. So any one of those plans will probably put you uh, in the black, so you're not in the hole on the overall obligation for that hospital stay. And this is how you accomplish a zero deductible. Okay, Mike. So just to recap, for that three-day hospital stay, the bill's going to be around twenty thousand dollars, with the discounts and the reduction. It's possible, even with the most inexpensive bronze plan that you have, that you could receive a check for $7,000? Yes. Again, it's, you know, hospital indemnity plan, they, they're contracted with you to pay out a certain amount based on the, the hospital bene the benefits that you had, that you used. All right. They're my, contracted to pay that out. And my next question is, are there any caps, any limits on this? there is a cap of $2 million per lifetime per insured. And looking at the scenario you are now, Chuck, you would have to have a bill in excess of $8 million to reach that $2 million cap. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. Very good. So this is even better than a win-win situation. We have researched uh, many plans, and this is the best that we've been able to find available to consumers in the USA. All right, again, we would like to tell you that if what Dave and Mike have been talking to us about today really is to your liking, and I see no reason why it wouldn't be, to get in touch with National Health Benefit Advisors, just click on the link on your screen, a form will come up, you fill out the form, and then one of the team members at National Health Benefit Advisors will contact you and go over a few things with you. And again, peace of mind knowing that you're going to be dealing with one of their team members, a person that you're going to get to know just in the conversation alone. That's right, Chuck. All we want is their name, telephone number, uh, email address, and their zip code. And we're not going to sell their name. We're not going to sell their contact information or their list to any other company. It will be just us. There will be one representative. He will contact you, and only that one representative will contact you. And that makes you feel even better knowing that. That builds continuity between you and the customer, yes. 
All right, Mike, what we want to do now is do a comparison between the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, and National Health Benefit Advisors, and your plans. Let's first use as an example myself, say, 60-year-old male. Okay. All right, so on the screen I have the uh, healthcare.gov, okay, which is where you would go in to, to find your pricing. And this is for a 60-year-old individual here in Florida. Uh, you'll see that there's four different metals, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, okay? Bronze is the uh, lowest price and the lowest benefits, whereas platinum is the higher price and higher benefits, okay? Now, typically, the, the most popular by far right now is the bronze because over the last couple of years, because of the high price increases each year, everyone has dropped down to what they can afford. Right. Okay. So the, the bronze, and it, you'll see there's 30 plans there. The average price is $753 a month. Uh, that's, that's the most uh, uh, popular. And it has a total average or a total annual cost of around almost $16,000. Okay. That's the most popular. And most of the people I talk to, that's where they're stuck at right now. Well, okay? it makes sense that they're stuck there because it's the most inexpensive one, correct? Correct. Correct. Now, when we go to the detailed one, we'll pick the, the, uh, the bronze and the average price that we found close to with the $738. This is uh, with Health First. It's a bronze HMO, okay? okay. Uh, monthly payment, $700, and we'll just round it off, $739. The deductible is $6,900, and your maximum out-of-pocket cost is going to be $7,150. So over the course of the year, you're going to pay a little bit over $16,000. Now, when you're looking at this plan, first thing you realize, an HMO. That's what I was just going to say. It's an HMO. I like to go places. I like to travel. Well, then that's probably not going to be the best plan for you because an HMO is limited to that state. Okay. Now, if you go out of state and you have an emergency, they'll help you with the emergency. But if you're, if you are admitted to the hospital that night, then you get no benefits. Okay, so that can be costly for you. So you want to take that in consideration. But also with an HMO, you are only allowed to go to the doctors in their plan. If you have a doctor that you really like, because say you need him for a specialty, and he's not in the HMO, you'll get no benefits if you go to see him. And that is generally the biggest complaint I hear from people who, who have those programs. Okay. Um, so when you look down further under under the um, uh, services and prescriptions, it lists the brand names. Typically, there's a 35% after the copay, and you know after the deductible, 50% after the deductible. Those are those are routine. You know those are type of things that no one thinks about until they need it. Right. Okay? Our program is much more detailed, much more greater benefits as far as the um, cost savings. All right, so when you compare that to our plans, okay, our plans are also metal plans. We have the bronze, the silver, the gold, okay? And those monthly premiums, boy, they catch your eye right away. Yeah, right off the bat, you know you're saving a lot. In fact, if you look at the gold, which is our Cadillac plan or our best plan, you're saving over 50%, but you're having great hospital coverage, and you can go to any doctor any hospital that you want. Right, because it's a PPO. Yeah, it's it's strong. And the the big thing about the PPO, it's nationwide. You can go anywhere. In fact, you can travel worldwide and get a lots of benefits, but definitely nationwide. The savings alone, as you mentioned uh, when we switched over to the uh, to your site, I would think people would just with the savings alone would go for the gold package. Almost always. It's a very strong plan. In fact, you know, a bronze plan is good. It's very good. Uh, and if, you're, if, you, if you have some budget concerns, a lot of people will do the bronze, and then the next year they'll go up to the, to the silver. But uh, any of the plans are great and save you a lot of money. Now, as far as the gold package goes, the benefit plan there, uh, uh, all of the uh, individual packages that you offer include all of the things you see on the screen, the hospitalization and services, the PPO, emergency room, critical illness, the ancillary, the lab work, x-rays, scans, things like that, wellness visits, 
maternity, dental, telemedicine, which we talked about earlier. That that's that, big. That will save you a lot of money. Um, in my family, at least this is what my wife thinks. Um, I have a family of three. She basically says that the uh, using the telemedicine saves us around seven hundred dollars each and mm -hmm. every year, and we've been using it now for four years. And it makes sense. I mean, if you're ill, you don't feel well. Why? You want to get up and get in the car and go and drive and, and go somewhere? And especially if you're out of town, vacation, right. whatever it may be, you're going to go try and find a doctor or an urgent care center. You can call from your hotel or your family's home and have that taken uh, delivered right to the pharmacy. And as I back up and looked at the uh, Affordable Care Act at healthcare.gov, at their site, didn't include vision, didn't have any vision uh, plan or hearing or any, some of the things that are in the plans that, that you offer? Our plan is a very strong plan. Definitely worth considering, and it will change your outlook on healthcare to a positive outlook. It absolutely does, and it makes a lot of sense for you to click on the link that you see on your screen right now to find out more about National Health Benefit Advisors. Simply click on that link, the form will come up, you fill out the form, it's, it's just a brief form, they need some information, and then one of the team members at National Health Benefit Advisors will contact you, and that will be who you speak with. They will not sell your information to another person or another entity. They will deal and you will deal together, and, and, and uh, they'll come up with a, a plan that will suit and fit you personally, and that's why you need to click on the link at, on your screen. Yes, and in addition to that, you will never have to worry about reapplying next year. There's no reapplying. And typically, there's no increases in prices. We haven't had a price increase in over five, six years. So this gets even better. You don't have to worry about a carrier such as Anthem or Blue Cross leaving a state. And it's just common from Ohio uh, down to Texas. Carriers are leaving. We haven't even touched on that. I, yeah. That was something that been in the news a lot lately about yes. how uh, different insurance carriers are just leaving. The consumer will think that the insurance carriers are getting rich. Uh, if they were, they wouldn't be leaving. Right. They can't take on the, well, the care that is unlimited for those that are, well, even terminally ill to a degree before they be, uh, are qualified for Medicaid. So the savings with this plan is something that consumers should take a look at. It's transportable, it's guaranteed renewable, and today so many, well, we all do. In my age group, I should have more dollars probably going to retirement, but not if I have to pay $1,800 a month right. for my wife and myself for a premium. If I'm younger, I still have children at home, there are many costs involved aside from paying $1,200 for my family. We need to recoup those dollars, put it back into the American households. And as we compare both the uh, Affordable Care Act and the National Health Benefit Advisors uh, packages, I just... Something that you just said, Mike, just a few seconds ago, uh, really struck home with me in the fact that uh, there's been no rate increase. It, it is because of the fact that it's a hospital indemnity plan, and those prices are already guaranteed and in the contract. It doesn't affect anything else. Mm -hmm. Actuarially, they know what they're going to pay. Right. As opposed to an unknown amount. That's how this takes place. And the, uh, the opponents of the Affordable Care Act, you know, they, they're constantly saying how, how high those premiums are going to go up year after year after year. So, uh, you know, why not go with something that's a, a proven, sure deal, and, and that's National Health Benefit Advisors. All right, Dave, we discussed the, an individual plan and what that's going to run as far as a premium goes and the different things that it offers. Let's talk now about families. Tell us about family plans. Well, for a family, it would be even more beneficial for the household when it comes to a dollar amount. For us, it doesn't matter how many children you have. So if you go into uh, the government site, they're gonna ask you how many dependents you have. That's gonna be reflected in the prices, and that does not with this. So it's a great savings for anyone uh, thinking about starting a family or raising a family currently, because maternity is also a benefit. Uh, it's not uncommon for us to encounter families today that have no insurance, 
you wouldn't think that to be possible, but they don't because they cannot afford the premiums with the Affordable Care Act. So for those new and need a plan, it can start as low as $242. Uh, that, that's amazing. Now, obviously, the gold provides the most benefits, but somewhere in between the $486 down to $242, we can customize a plan for any household. And as it is with the individual plan, the family plans also uh, involve the coverage of hospitalization and services. It's a PPO again. Let's reinforce the fact that it's a PPO. Anywhere you want to go, you go. Emergency room, critical illness, the ancillary, the lab work, x-rays, scans, etc. Wellness visits, maternity. Dave, you just mentioned that. Yes. Dental. Telemedicine. Telemedicine is probably going to be the most important, and even for the more children you have. Anytime you can say, well, uh, a mother running back and forth each time something happens with a child, she's taking the rest of them with them. They're sitting there in a room with other sick people. They're getting even sicker. When she can do this from home, any time of day or night, right. it's an unbelievable savings. And she's at the point where if one of the children gets uh, falls ill, chances are the rest are going to catch it Absolutely. Too. It yeah. always happened when I was yeah. growing up. I know. So... That's the beauty of the telemedicine. And, uh, and as you say, she's not lugging around three kids with her if just one of them are, are ill. No, the step would be first to make use of the telemedicine. Then uh, make use of an urgent care closest to you. Uh, none of us like to sit in the emergency room waiting. So take, take advantage of those benefits. And there's no question the telemedicine is very, very big. Also chiropractic, also the prescriptions are there, the vision plan, uh, hospital advocacy. Yes. Big. That's very big. And hearing as well. It is, again, uh, we talked earlier about oh, the discounts, one, being within the network, up to about 35% for the PPO, the best in the country. And the, um, the advocacy program, helpful in so many ways. A lot of folks don't know what to do as far as the process, not just being at a hospital uh, for a surgical event or a stay, but they will help you plan out what might be the best hospital to go to, what may be the best doctors to utilize. They will work with you before going, while you're there, and take care of you after you leave. One person will for you and your family. It would be wise for you at this point to click on the link on your screen right now and get in touch with National Health Benefit Advisors as soon as possible and save yourself money and have better care. That's what this is all about. Care that is tailored to you, your specific health needs, and what you want, not what somebody wants to sell you to make a large commission on, what you need. That's what this is all about. So click on the link, the screen will come up, you fill out the information, and then one of the team members from National Health Benefit Advisors will be in contact with you, and they will tailor that program to fit your need. All right, Dave, Mike, we've covered an awful lot of ground today, but I'm sure that a lot of the consumers out there that are viewing and listening to us, they probably have a few more questions. So what we would like them to do is to click on the link right now, and uh, when you click on that link, the form will come up, you fill out the form, and then you'll be contacted by one of the team members at National Health Benefit Advisors. It's going to be the best link you've ever clicked. And that team member is the one that you will be speaking with. It's very important to develop continuity, even more important to build a relationship. You go to your family doctor, he knows what's happened from the previous visit. He knows your name, and that's what takes place with us having an advisor. And that's extremely important. It's peace of mind. It's being comfortable. You have all that with National Health Benefit Advisors and, and your plans that you offer. Again, I want to thank you for telling all of our uh, people out there who are watching and listening to us. And thanks for your expertise. And, uh, and we want to wish everybody good health. But click on that link and do it right now. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck.